Very fast. fast. All right. All right. I'm trying to get into position. All right. Welcome to our virtual. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone, come over. Come over. Let's. We just said no running. <laughs> this would be the point where I would say no running, but it's end of day, but still no running. I don't know why. All right. I'll wait until they get seated and then we'll get started. All right. Welcome to our award ceremony here today. Who here had fun? All right. Now, here comes the real fun of the day, the actual hardware, our trophies. But thank you guys. First, I want to say this. One, thank you for being part of our, our closing ceremonies as part of this year's game, Ultimate Goal, presented by Qualcomm. Thank you guys so much. You know, as, as you've experienced here today, as you've experienced during this season, we are a community of global citizens. What we've gone through in the past year plus shows the resiliency that we have as a family, a movement, a culture for participants and volunteers and supporters. This doesn't happen without a connection between each single one of us that decides every single day that I want to be a part of this community. I want to have a part of what we're doing here today. So thank you to everyone who's been here today. This is a, you know, you know, I keep saying, you know, being the only event in, in the world or one of three in-person events in the world, it's not something that's insignificant. It's important. So, so I want to say, say thank, thank you for being part of that. that. And thank, thank you for, you for our, our students, students, you know. This generation that, that you just saw compete here are going to be the scientists and innovators that are going to be solving the world's biggest problems. They are going to be the people advancing our culture. They're going to be the people that are advancing our achievements. And so we want to make sure that days like today are not just a day of fun, which we want them to be. This is an investment into securing our future. So let's also thank a couple people as well. I want to give thanks to our referees, our AV staff, our FTA scorekeeper, our remote judges. We want to thank everyone that made this event possible because this wouldn't have been able to work out. And then finally, let's all give a thanks to our sponsor for this year's game, First Changers, powered by Star Wars Force for Change, and our season sponsor, Disney and Lucasfilm, our ultimate goal presenting sponsor, Qualcomm, and our official program sponsor, Collins Aerospace. Thank you guys so much for allowing us to be able to do this. So, so, let's go ahead. ahead. Actually, actually, let's do a couple, couple things. things. One, One, as, as I, I said, said, we actually, actually we have a lot of people that made, made this event happen. happen. So, so uh, uh, one, we have our students, students as I've said. said. But, but before, before I actually go, go forward, forward with that, that how, how many of the students that we have here today are seniors? Seniors, raise your hands. So, so we actually we have, have something, something for you. I was I able to get this when I first became an alumni. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, tell, gonna tell you one because it's been a very long time. time. But, but I have a, a, a patch for you. This patch this isn't just, you know, something that you can put on your clothes. This is a symbol of the work that you put through in these last couple of years to be able to compete, to be able to show your passion for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And, and the, the fact, fact that, that you are, are a product of one of the most powerful, powerful communities in this world. This, this is a symbol of that. that. So, so um, after, after, after the competition, competition please grab, grab one from, from us, us, as well as, as, um, as, as I said, said, we also had volunteers that really helped to make this work. work. You know, you know as, as I said before, before I'm, I'm an alumni of this program. I'm a product of this program. Uh, from, uh, from 2000, 2000 and 
six onwards and didn't stop at 2011 when I graduated. Uh, the timeless, uh, timeless events, the people that have sown into me have made me into the person I am today. And that was through not just being a student, but volunteering as well. So if you volunteered here today, you're a first alum and you volunteer just like Mr. John Welsh, make sure to get your badge because we want, you, we want to show that we're proud of you for what you've done here today because, again, this is a very special event. So make sure you get your badge. And also, we also have a pamphlet as well because, as we said, uh, there's no exit plan for FIRST. We have multiple opportunities for you, whether it be if you're looking forward towards college, looking for a scholarship, just like we said, scholarships are available at firstinspires.org slash scholarships. You can actually see we have millions of dollars of scholarships that go unused every single year. And you can be the recipient of one of them. So make sure you go to the website there. But this guide also talks about a little bit more about opportunities that you have. Maybe you want to go to college. Maybe you want to go into the trade. Maybe you want to be a coach and mentor and give another student the experience that you were able to have from a mentor that you had here today. Grab this guide. Hear what other opportunities you have at first and beyond. Yes, seniors, before I forget, seniors, if you can stand up for me. I know you raised your hand, but seniors, stand up. I want everyone to give them a round of applause. All right. Now, now I'm n I know you're tired of hearing me speak, so I'm going to give you what you want. I have awards for you. So the first award we have is ooh, the Motivate Award. So the team that receives the Motivate Award has the culture of first and clearly shows what it means to be a team. This award celebrates the team that represents the essence of the first tech challenge competition through team building, team spirit, and displayed enthusiasm. This is a team who makes a collective effort to make first known through their school and community and sparks others to embrace the culture of first. Here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. When one man's trash is another man's treasure, a previous year's robot can be a goldmine of knowledge for new team members. Through hurricanes and football seasons, this team showed up to work, twisting what they needed to do during a pandemic to spread the word of first. The Motivate Award is presented to Team 6047 Twisted Axles from Powder Springs, Georgia. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Our next award is the Design Award. The Design Award expands on this year's challenge, inspiring teams to incorporate industrial design into their robots. These elements can be shown in the simplicity of the design as it applies to the task. The look and feel of the robot and how the design allows us to think of robots in new ways. The design aspect must serve a function, but they should also differentiate the robot in a unique fashion. Here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. 
Many teams this year faced an ocean of challenges when it came to designing their robots. This team's unique collaborative process overcame such barriers and went on to shape their success. Their daring efforts with CAD produced an effective robot that their far-flung team can be proud of. The design award is presented to Team 4100 Darbots from Rome, Georgia. Thank you. Thank you.